March 11th, 2019, Path of Exile announced a new stash tab to be added, the Unique tab. This allows you to store and showcase one copy of every unique in-game. When I read that, I knew what I had to do. I've set off to obtain every unique in-game in the solo self-found game mode, filling the Unique stash tab completely. This shit will take a long ass time and won't be easy, but I'm always down for a grind. I'm Matt Lady, and this is All For One. Hello guys, I am Matt Lighty, this is episode 139 of All For One, The Quest For Unique Completion, and this is the Sentinel launch week. This is the first episode of All For One containing not only Sentinel content, but revamped Arch Nemesis within the core of the game. All risk, no reward, just as God intended. Now I'm not going to bore you with a long intro, we're going to get right into the clips. Here is the uh, last clips from Arch Nemesis's ending. A little bit of merge and then we'll be leading into some standard content so enjoy this video have a great time and i'll catch you on the end so i swapped my tree around just a little bit uh to pick up a couple expedition things because the only thing i really have to do still for the like wrap up of arch nemesis since we know nothing is changing next league is um get enough of the exceptional sun artifacts so I can purchase this named Verana right here. I'm missing 17. I already I ran all of my Wingeds and Gildeds last night, and I didn't hit a uh, single Danig or logbook that has Danig. So I've got a bunch more, at least 70 more here to run in general. And we're just gonna hope I get it. I'm doing it on this character because our, I mean, Expedition's a little spooky. I don't wanna lose experience on the Berserker. Lesser, Corrupted, Lesser, Greater. It's gonna be a oh there we go 34 oh we're done that's it we're good all right that's enough we can now buy our thing okay so there is my Verona book we have now to protect this with my life I can go over there air contains Verona so I have to go get a split spider from bestiary to duplicate this I mean league launch is in four days do I really want to spend the next 20 hours doing nothing but boss rushing I mean, I'm prepared for it. I have everything set up pretty much. Is that what I want to spend my time doing? Merges tomorrow. Yeah. The plan is I'm going to... Um, yeah, it's pretty funky. Wake up in the morning, start stream early, like pretty early, and then just sit here and get carpal tunnel syndrome, max my RSI on my wrist, and do nothing but boss rush until merge happens. Then we're just going to be like done with path pretty... You know, do the whole merge, process my stuff. Then I have my tree done, I have my characters pretty much set so that I can farm out all the new uniques that are going to be introduced in Standard. So I'm prepping um, things like the Shaper unique, the Elder unique, you know? I want to have all those ready. So I've got a pretty good amount of each thing at the moment. I don't have like any Cirrus runs, but... Um, I am saving up my invitations for when quantity matters, since the quantity currently is not affecting anything with these invitations, which is like the dumbest shit ever, so I'm saving up that. Um, synth maps I can just run if I want to, but yeah, um, Kyrick missions, also I've been using Kyrick missions to reset for stuff, so I have like, uh, I don't have many, but because I've been doing boss rushing, it's really, really nice to pick up, um, this, this little commissioned officer node, it's just one point, and it's given me these 13, I had zero yesterday, so I've gotten like two for resets, so I've gotten at least 10, and all I do here is... So I pick one, doesn't matter what it is, I just blow through it, and then I wait for the reset, and then I purchase, and then there you go. That, that was a great example. <laughs> just there. I buy a uh, buy a Trox map. He might offer something I want to run. If not, then I just click one, go back here, and just do this. I bought a synth map yesterday from him. That's all Kyrick missions are, is a, is a vendor reset plus chance at something, something else from him. He actually can't offer Conquer maps, but yeah. Hope to okay. hope to get something else. Absolutely useless. <laughs> oh god. She had the can't die shit on her for a little bit there. Whoa! What do we have here? Oh god. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold the phone. <laughs> That is a very interesting couple of months there. <laughs> I have never seen Arcane Surge and Voln on the same thing before. It's even more painful 
is that it still has to roll all the good stuff. Hold on, hit with arcane surgeon hit. Yeah, think about the reap builds. I know. I you have. I, it's okay. So what do we have to hit? We have to hit increase effect or the the fizz damage one, the effect one, and the reduction. It has to hit two out of three of those. God, I whiffed. <laughs> the buff effect's not bad. The reduction's not what you want. Um, it's still probably fine, just because it's so yoked, the, the implicits. Alright, so that was the last of the Arch Nemesis stuff. Now we're going to do some standard stuff. I had some resources saved over from after the patch hit, and there was some funny content when running standard stuff along the way. We do have a lot of the Uber content to look forward to, especially next week when they all gain uniques locked behind Uber content. But for now, there is a lot of standard content worth running still, especially things in the future like Uber Shaper I could run as of right now. And we will get into that in the next episode. But here's a little bit of standard stuff to, you know, to keep you tied over. I've not heard definitive lo logic for why this phase ends or doesn't end. Finish. Pretty sure I can kill him before we go under here. Man, if I got a unique the first time they change the drops. Oh! Well, there's a new amulet. Wow. Oh, look, he's actually Ooh. dropping shit because the fucking thing scales off of quantity now. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew it scales off of quant would make all the difference in the world? I have never received Exalted's off of him in the 40-something kills. Never received Grand... I mean, I've received one, maybe, not two. Comical. Who knew affecting him by quantity would make a difference? Scope kills enemies that have 15%. So it's 15% call of Searing dominant. Exceptional Searing, so it's 15% call. It's a 15% call on hit amulet. I don't... I don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. This build can't do Uber Shaper. Need at least 100 mil damage for it to feel okay. Uber Shaper. Come on, helmet. Oh, that's it. There we go. Hey. All right. Easy. Okay, so that is the new helmet. I, I'm guessing the drop rate, I want to say, is probably 10%. That's what it feels like looking at the item. Um, just based off of its use and like how good it is, I'm going to say, I'm going to probably guess it's about a 10% drop. I think I've killed eight shapers since new patch, so I would say that's probably fine. I mean, it could be like a 1% drop, but I really don't think it is, just because of like what the item is. Also, it is good to know that the item itself is super, super funny looking. Um, if I could just show it off real quick. It has the little curly Q tentacle coming out of your fucking face. It gives war cries cooldowns. Uh, take percent of life as physical for each war cry exerted. And then they do more damage for each war cry you're exerting them. It's interesting, but I don't think it's a very good helmet at all. But it is interesting. Still a new unique. This means that I'm actually done with Shaper for a little bit here. Unless then I'm just gonna go straight to Uber Shaper next. You will not catch me. Look at them trying to catch me. It should be a challenge itself. Can you can you get six of these up and running? Look at them. Huh. Oh, I got some more coming. I got some more coming. Look at them go, I got six. Can we get, can we get nine? Let's get more. Oh! Oh! We got nine. Memory game time! <laughs> right, top, left. Top, left. Right, top, left. Top, left. Keep them going, boys. <laughs> we got more. <laughs> Keep them coming. <laughs> Twelve. Oh, this part's hard. Oh, oh, oh. No, I dropped one. <laughs> all right, so that's all the standard stuff we have into the into the nitty gritty. This is the Sentinel launch week, weekend, and the week leading up 
along with you know the Arch Nemesis implementation. There will be a little bit of complaining. There will be a lot of dying. There really isn't that much. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it festive. Enjoy Sentinel League. I for sure am. And at the end, I will show you exactly what I'm doing in Sentinel League, how I'm getting so many uniques, how I'm getting so much gear, and how I'm having the great time that I'm having. Okay. Control right is right click. And then I have to take this and drag it in here. And it does something. What? It did start. Yeah. Start on <laughs> the fact that you say that is that's the most like path wife thing I've ever heard. <laughs> it started on time, really. <laughs> yes, yes, it did. I wish one auto looted. It's zippity. Oh, that one had a symbol on its head. Okay. Oh, I understand. This one makes them drop corroded blades. <laughs> that's what this sentinel does. Stalker sentinel beams chain an additional time. How do I actually put points in? Oh, I wouldn't stay in town on League Launch ever. I would just go. For bad things await you in town. It's the land of disconnects. Oh, this... Oh, okay. So this is our first Arch Nemesis mods we've seen. So Ro is spawned with Gargantuan. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we're about to level here in a second. So let's see how it's going to look when I level. How aggressively offensive... Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, fuck. The plus one gem recipe... That's, you need gems that equal 40 quality of the same tag. It's impossible to do early on, basically. You, uh, best bet is just getting a level 2 wand and rolling for the plus one of your choice. It's not great, but it's the best we got. Is there an early bird special farm? Is, well, what unique mob is right next to a spawn point? And the other side of Act 2 Forest has that, that bandit guy who's right there. Um, so, you could probably just reset... Zip zap him and then fucking go. Stop hitting me. Like the drops just like aren't good though, you know? <laughs> it's it's not really good. I mean I could get a tabby right now, right? Obviously. But they, they don't seem very difficult, and the loot doesn't seem amazing. So Oh, it has a unique thing. Oh, we could leave after this. So it can trigger the unique symbol. Answers that question. Alright, what's our first unique gonna be? And it's shit. It's shit. It's combs. All right, let's kill a rare for ten minutes. Man, look at his heal though. It's intense. Can I not just face tank this? Hold on. No, he heals way more than the damage I do, and he's healing more than the damage he's doing. It must be a flat rate or something. Is that the oh Jesus? Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where's the button? F four. Zap him, big boy. Oh, oh. big chunky monkey. Looks good. Feels good. It's looking pretty good, right? Look at that, huh? Yeah, look at that. Invuln Soul Eater. I can't wait for that fucking combo to happen in the real world. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, fuck you. That's gonna be a lot of fun later on. Real fun time. Having a real fun time. Having a good time. Let's see. Let's see if it's actually on sale. Soul Rend purchase item. Oh fuck, it is on sale! That's crazy. All right, I do have enough. Is this league fun? I'm having fun. If you're asking if the mechanic is fun, I'm pretty much skipping it because it doesn't do anything while leveling. So if that answers your question, fantastic. It could be a totally different experience in mapping, but right now it's basically a pass for me. We'll say the rare mods do feel a little bit strong. Yeah, they, they don't drop loot and they're very angry. Two rares that time. God damn! You're so angry! Turn the other cheek and save me, you bitch. My body is fucking ready. Release the beast, Sentinel! Release the beast! Oh, it zapped it. Ooh, you're not taking damage. <laughs> I think I saw something. Yes, I did! <laughs> now, how angry are you? Whoa, that was quick! <laughs> Fuck! Alright. We should be able to get a couple uniques here. Let's just do the random first. I think we'll do the flask afterwards. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> okay. Couldn't tell you what killed me. Something angry. Um, and of course, it's bestiary. So once you die to it, you've lost it. <laughs> but again, 
So, like, that was level 50. I'm level 50. Let's try level 33. This should be, like, super cakewalk, right? Even this thing. This thing's 20 levels under me. Look at look at my life. I'm 54. It's 33. Look at him slap me. It just, I mean, it's almost killing me. That is impressive. That's 20 levels under me. 20 levels. <laughs> They ask me what mobs, what mods I'm shutting off when I get to math. All of them. <laughs> All of them. You get done not having fun. I don't blame you. Oh god, that rare just dropped a singular white item. F4. Get juice, kid. Have it. Oh my god, just one shot me. <laughs> okay. I assume it was overcharged. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure what mechanic just did that. What is that? What is this? Oh, mana siphoner. Oh, there goes my mana. Yeah, that just sucks all your mana out. Man, imagine being melee and having to step into that. That'd be a real shame. I can't slow... I can't slow the storms. <laughs> I can slow the big guy. Broken shitter one and broken shitter two. And then we duct tape them together. They should equal... There we go. Oh, it's a new unique! <laughs> Wow, look at us go, guys. Empowered enemies do not drop items. Empowered enemies cannot gain rewards. So this is just for farming sentinel monies. You hear that sound? So that is the sound of me trying to put this in a unique tab, and I can't. And do you know why that is? I'll tell you why. Don't even bother. I'll tell you why. It's because uh, this unique is so much so not going to make it into the game and so much so has no bearing on all for one That they didn't bother making a temporary slot like they did for watchstones that they were removing or like unique contracts that they didn't know they were keeping on the game forever This thing is so so much so leaving the game after this league that They were like, you know what? Fuck it. And here's the even better part if they were to make a tab for it it would actually even up the slots, so it's not even like there's no room for it. There's a perfect amount of slots if they just shifted these over once and put a new one there for Sentinels. They didn't even give a fuck because they know there's no way this is making it into the game. What is that? What was that? What is this thing? Ah, uh, Hasted Frenzy. Oh, ooh, haha. <laughs> How's League Launch going? It's going. I'm trying to get a... Well, <laughs> There's a five link, but it's a reaver sword. <laughs> well, it is our first five link, which is, dare I say, promising. My map shit, I'm on the cusp. I'm at Katava. I just don't want to go to maps. <laughs> I'm just doing heists now. I've moved on. I've ascended. You all think you're playing the league. No, 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 no. I have transcended physical form like famed... Academy Award winning actor Johnny Depp in the film Transcendence. I've plugged myself into the Matrix. If I don't go to maps, I can't die in maps. Mm -hmm. Yep. Clear's fine for a four link. A sacred orb? I've never found a sacred orb in my fucking life. <laughs> this is my first ever sacred orb since they've been added to the game. Randomizes the numerical values of bases. That since the patch, they've stopped showing us big crafters. Look at all these chaos rolls I just saved. So we're looking to replace basically plus one gems and nothing, or um, no plus one gems and chaos dot multi. Okay, chaos dot nothing. Next, plus one chaos nothing. But now the bar is higher than that. So now we're looking for chaos plus something. Chaos dot nothing. Okay. Oh, what? That's a lot of spell damage. Fuck, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's literally as high as it could possibly go. <laughs> Holy shit. 129. That's a lot of spell damage. Joe Biden, save me. Ugh! I mean, I, I hope that when it... Fuck, Jesus. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter that... That's why, like, the, this, the nerf to the rare part made, means no difference, like... A pack of assassin mobs could basically trigger you off screen. Is that going to be a juiced and buffed spider? <laughs> okay. As long as. 
I was just going to say, as long as these rocks don't, like, one-shot me, she will do this no problem. Juicing underground seas. I need gear. I need loot. There's my exiles. Obliteration. Fantastic. This is why I'm doing juiced exiles, baby. You know what? Here, let's see if we can get the zippy zappies on him. Did I zip zap one? Here we go. Yep, they still fucking die so fast. Oh my god. This, this is what, this is actually fun. This is fun. We are having, I'm having fun. I'm sentineling ghosted exiles. I don't want to keep complaining because everyone's, it's not that I'm not correct in what I'm complaining about, but we're all complaining about the same thing. But the fact that a ghosted sentineled exile is way easier than just a normal blue mob now really speaks to what the fuck is wrong with with, with what something is terribly wrong oh that one's angry oh wait no no that wasn't even them that's the fucking blood letters oh jesus christ i was spoke by the rare but it wasn't even or the fucking exile it wasn't even the exile that bled me out look at my es though that's the real funny part i've got so much es on kill and leash that it's like a little barrier but i think the end is probably near for me over here Oh, huh. look at that. A, uh, it's a unique sentinel just dropped. Galt, if the tab doesn't go up, neither do I, okay? If the tab does not increase, then I am not at peace. Fishing plat? Those go in the tab. You could put all the fishing items in the tab. You come to me like you know how the unique world works, Galt. But you're too busy with your southern traditions. So I can, I can make my own museum. I'll make my own museum. <laughs> there we go. Look at them. And they have to remain, you know, virgin. I can't I can't use them once. That's unethical. Perfection! Look at them. All their glory. I mean, I am the man who has the tabs. Not the scrabblers. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I got ice prison. I forgot I had these. That's probably because I walked in and just got annihilated last time I tried. Um, Herbnors. Body armor. God, they almost fucking killed me. I'm 30 levels over them. <laughs> they almost just one shot me. Holy shit. One wing to rule them all. Ooh, I just thought this this is gonna be spooky <laughs> walking through the goat pile. Give him the old zip. Yes. Zip of the zappity. Oh look, these things just are immortal. I wonder what they're tied to. <laughs> Hello? Thing right here. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Don't touch me. Scumblade. So for those who don't know like what I'm doing or what the fuck why I'm here in this game, basically I just am playing a build that is that it would be fine if it was last week, but it's less than fine because it is now. And I want to reroll into golems, but I can't because I have nothing that golems needs to start. So my passive tree looks like my actually looks like this, and I basically identified what I feel like. The Sentinels work best in combination with, and that is with juicing exiles to the fucking moon. So we spawn exiles, they're ghosted, they drop extra stuff, they're tankier, they're stronger, better, faster. Then with, uh, I could juice a couple from the Apex things, then they're like giga loot. But even when I just get the regular ones, even those are a lot of loot, so. I'm identifying a bunch of rares, finding a bunch of good shit. Hoping to find clay shapers, golem jewels, primordial amulets, that sort of stuff. Other good stuff along the way. If you want to know like the type of stuff I found today, I found mostly shit. <laughs> but I did find, I found a barracks respite. That's a tier one unique. Um, I just found grave binds. You saw. Where are my uniques? I'll be at least one. He's got a fucking unique tag. God. There we go. There we go. Oh, coral amulet. Oh, I'm moist just thinking about it. Come on, give me Primordial Chain. A second Coral Amulet? First one's a whiff. I repeat, first one's a whiff. Second one is also a whiff. <laughs> okay, so he's Mavened and he's now double ghosted. So I'm not gonna juice him. 
He's already gonna leap and one shot me probably. He'll drop, but he's where's the leap? Three. Two. Oh fuck, that's quick. Oh, the rogues make it real, real, real fast. Oh boy, this guy's gonna be fucking eleven out of ten. He has five ghosts, and he's gonna be apexed. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at you go. Look how fast those hits are. Yeah, that's enough. There we go. Woof. Angry man. Dude, this fucking shield. <laughs> oh my god. This shield's gonna be so chonked out after this is done. Rog has come through with one nice item so far. There's one chonky little shield right there. Oh man, I've gotten every single drop now. Unless. No, it is. Okay. Like, that looks like broken faith, but I'm not sure. All right, well, I've gotten all of their drops at least once from Chaos Warbands, but I'm looking for a second Pariah still. <sighs> not even a, a meager clay shaper in these times of dark. Whoa, there we go. All right, well, it's not, it's not a unique, but it is a rare thing to see. That is plus one uh, all spells. Okay. Plus one cold, plus one all spells. Yep. Yep, there we go. It's prophecy one, but that's fine. Still plus two. And it has opens prefix and suffixes. Perfect. Oh god. Here we go again with the crimson jewel. What's it gonna be? We got martial artistry or it's gonna be brawn. That was the only two I ever fucking get. One of the two. Martial artistry or brawn. Right, and it is inertia or brute brute force solution. Where the fuck one of the two? I don't think it would take more than like a couple more days of this to hit some of the things I'm <clears throat> looking for. Really, just judging by the amount, like I know the I've done like shit tier MFing before. I know the amount of uniques I'm getting, and I know that it's just probably going to be a couple days before I hit like a primordial might or I hit the snake pit. It's it shouldn't really be that long. How do you think MF in this league compares to Scourge? Um, infinitely worse in every way, shape, or form. They're my unique settles so far. I've gotten Hollowed Eye Skull, Benefactor, Megalomaniac, and Arbiter. Those are the ones. Not you. You're the fucking worst. Actually, you're the second worst. There is a worse Exile. He's the second worst Exile. I have learned, though, through doing this method, which Exiles are truly the worst Exiles in the game, lethality-wise. Um, after they get, you know, after all their stats are cranked up, I would say there are th there are three three bad groupings of exiles currently. Number in, in rank three place are the the bow the bow women. Wow! So that is my that's my. <laughs> I can make two tamings now <laughs> for the king. Limb Slicer. Swarm. Swarm. Limb Slicer. Swarm. For the king. I almost have exceptionals. Oh, no. That. Oh, it's so close. So close. So close. Oh, that must be more rare than Primordial Chain. Oh, I'm in the fuck pit. Right click. Right click. Hey, fuck. Wait. That looks like highborn stuff. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just want a snake pit. All right, Ash. <laughs> oh, we were just... Just talking about this today, I was like, I'll probably just get Calum's heart soon. Because <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, there's, there's not many tier one uniques I'm missing at this point. Hey, uh, snake bite, snake pit, where are you? <laughs> okay, so I showed it pretty much in the video, but let's briefly just go over one more time what exactly I've been up to. Now, all I'm basically doing is I'm grabbing, sure, this is just a, a, ra a rare peninsula. I like peninsula, it's a, it's a good one to do for a tier two. And I, I pop it into the device, and I'm turning on Arch Nemesis. That's pretty much all I'm doing. 
and I'm doing it with this atlas tree I've made that is pretty much catered towards low level farming and doing sentinels. Now I've got the basis complete, which is just the ghost stuff, which is the exile stuff. Yes, you could pick up if you want royal guard, um, but I honestly find it more detrimental. These little nodes are okay. Exiles have a 20% chance to drop an additional currency item. This nine times out of 10 is like a fucking transmutation, but you can pick that up. However, I got the ghost nodes, I got the exile nodes, I've got these two map uh, map rarity boss nodes, and then the currency ones and duplication there and there. And of course, my two league focuses, expedition and heist. And I pop in the map, I put on anarchy, it costs one map and it costs two C to run. And then I walk in here and I just throw cats all around. It's not too difficult. And if I see the rogue exile, I push F4, I let the apex sentinel fly, and then we just have a great time. And I'm going to get some... There's my exile. Okay, so we hit F4. Boom, he's zapped. You tell because he has a symbol on his head. Or she, I guess, has a symbol on her head. We go over here and we get the boss. Hopefully they're ghosted. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. This one's duplicated, though. It's even better. Zap, zap. Okay, both bosses are zapped. We get our goods. They tend to have a pretty high unique drop chance because of all my nodes, as you can tell. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's pretty, uh, pretty standard juice, though. Okay, anything good here? Oh, well, look at this. Dead Reckon. I mean, if you were in, uh, if, if I'm in Solo Cell Found, as, as we know, this is a, uh, very desirable thing. I will not be using it. I literally applied Skelly Mages and Standard with, you know, mirror tier gear, so I have no interest in that, but just goes to show, um, you know, this, this does get you some things. We're just gonna look around. I like to full clear. Um, I know I tagged my exiles already, but I want to check to see. There we go. See, there's some more exiles. We got couple charges left. Oh, I'm going to die. So again, it's very lethal, this whole process. is. This build isn't very good either. But I uh, I tag the things I need to tag. My apexes are out. So now I'm basically um, going to kill the things that I've made, which is part of the fun. And we will be getting, obviously, piles of loot as a byproduct. I tend to suggest just retracing your steps compared to clearing forward. Um, I mean, I've already technically won. I've got a dead reckoning. I've got a good jewel. But we're going to get some more goodies. This map will provide even more. Just you wait and see. All right. Some more currency. All right. There's Thena. She's angry, but that's okay. She tends to be. And boom. Nah, trash. All right. Just to clarify, the, I have the map, you know, Atlas map boss rarity things. The ones we talked about right there and right there. Um, I also am wearing, like, whatever MF gear I found. So Orsi's, Sundance. I got an Andav. I got my Biscos. It's not, you know, it's not a ton, but it does add up. We're at 5 quant and 160 rarity. Obviously, the rarity goes up because of Rampage, but it's a decent amount coupled with what I have. I am res-capped, only barely, but I am res-capped. That's all that matters, right? And, uh, yeah, no, it's like, it's, it's, we're having a good time just doing this. Again, the investment cost is pretty low. Getting Dead Reckoning is a pretty nice jackpot, especially in SSF. I guess in trade also, it's pretty expensive. But, um, yeah, I mean, this, we, we do see quality stuff like that quite often. And again, like there's a chaos, so I've already got my, my map half refunded right there. It's uh, the experience you get is not gonna be great. It's pretty rippy because again, ghosted juiced exiles tend to be. If I was playing a wander, uh, you know, wind ripper build, this would be a lot safer and faster. But hey, man, the cats, the cats get the job done. I've transitioned to just straight hand casting. I don't, I don't feel like the, the channeling was just more detrimental than anything. If you were to ID all these rares, I've gone through so many rares, I've stopped IDing them at this point pretty much. But feel free to ID any amount of rares. Like you can see the amount of jewelry you get. If your rare gear isn't like super nice or whatever, you know, I would suggest checking everything. I I still do half the time, but I would definitely go through all of these and like check whatever. You'll definitely find upgrades, you'll find plus one amulets, etc. So it's uh it's definitely worth going through. It just takes more time to obviously check rares, but in SSF it's worth it. But yeah, that's that's the gist of it. That's the gist of what I've pretty much been doing. And again, you get stuff like there's a dead reckoning. Um, it, it's you're gonna get returns. It's just a matter of time. And I got my chaos back, so I can fund for it. Obviously, you could do the chaos recipe. I do try to keep a little bit to do unaided chaos recipe. Uh, if you just use a full set of gear, plus I'll just show you what that is for those who are the truly uninitiated. Um, a full set of gear just means this. So helm, gloves, boots, uh, two rings, amulet belt, either two one hands or two hand and a body armor. This is very pickupable from the ground we just saw. 
Get you two chaos. You know, you want to get you. You want know two chaos can get you. That's right, arch nemesis <laughs> or anarchy. Sorry, that's three exiles instantly juiced. You'll always get your money back at least through the chaos recipe. You could literally do this infinitely if you chose to. It's just a matter of a minor effort, and you'll be you know set with a bounty of gear and solo self found. Again, you've seen the quality of uniques I've gotten in this episode, and the quality of uniques I can get right now from the dead reckoning. So I am not full of shit. Please believe me. Well, that's about it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a great time looking at the end of Arch Nemesis, a little bit of Standard, and of course the Sentinel launch week. We are pretty much wrapping up our time as our Chaos Trickster character, hopefully transitioning into something new, assuming we get something juicy to drop quite soon. I could make one of many builds right now with the things I have, but obviously I have my mind set on certain things. I wanted to play Flame Golem, and I wanted to mess with this new Ice Spear Snake Pit build. I have received neither of the uniques I need for any builds, so fingers crossed I get something. I am going to keep MFing, and I'm getting tons of drops, tons of uniques. It's, it's actually a lot of fun to do Sentinel in this capacity, and I'm going to keep doing that, and I will be, you know, we have three months to enjoy this to the max, and it's only going to get better and better. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the live stream. If not, I'll catch you in the videos. I'm Matt Lighty, and you have a good day.